I knew that the only person in our fire team who was going to get Vex Mythic class would be Les. And it happens every single raid. Like, I don't know what Les is doing under the table with Bungie, but the man complains all the time. And somehow he has the best RNG. Regardless, today, guys, we're going to be reviewing Vex Mythic class for the first time in Destiny 2. It's a little different, but still safe. So let's start with this exotic perk. The weapon comes with Timeless Mythic class. This weapon fires a single bolt with each trigger pull. Now, it's a full auto weapon and if you notice there at the bottom it says 360 rounds per minute i actually wanted to make sure this was 360 rounds per minute because bungie's done this before where they're like hey yeah it's 360 and then it turns out it's like 415 or 426 or maybe even like 326 but comparing it to cerberus which is also another 360 they match up cerberus has 31 rounds in a magazine so i prime vex down to 31 rounds and both of them roughly took somewhere around 299 to 300 frames to unload those 30 rounds. Needless to say, yes, Vex Mythic class in its base form or its auto rifle form does shoot at 360 rounds per minute. Now, starting with our barrel perk, it comes with arrowhead break, which is important here. I don't even remember what the recoil direction was back inside of D1, but the default recoil direction right here on Vex is 80. And I'm assuming this is built in with arrowhead break. 80 is not perfect. We would prefer an odd number like 85 or even 75, but without arrowhead break, this would have been 50, which would have been terrible. Now, the battery perk, Volatile Battery. This battery simultaneously exists in multiple timelines, causing the weapon to overcharge. And if we take a look at the trait here, Temporal Unlimiter, defeating targets build stacks of overcharge. When you have full stacks, you can press your reload button or hold it down, and it will swap the firing mode to essentially a linear fusion rifle at an 820 charge rate, which is kind of slow, but considering it's a linear fusion, you've got a lot more range and it's sticky, fellas. Mouse and keyboard, controller, and there's a lot of mixed gameplay here. I went back and forth between controller, mouse, and keyboard. I would say mouse and keyboard did run into some issues with flinch in its linear fusion rifle form. Like I noticed if somebody was popping shots on me, I may miss the headshot. Controller though? Nah. Man, you just aim in the general direction of someone's face and it doesn't matter if they're shooting you, you're still gonna land that crit. Now those stacks of overcharge that you see there at the bottom left, you actually accumulate those stacks with every kill. Now, the ratio is different between PvE and PvP. Inside of PvE, a single minor kill will grant you one stack of overcharge. Now, what's interesting is a single kill of a major will grant you two stacks of overcharge. And I'm under the assumption that maybe a boss will grant you three, maybe four. I don't know. Inside of Crucible, though, Bungie's actually made the ratio three stacks of overcharge per kill, meaning within two kills, you can be at max stacks, which is when you can actually convert your auto rifle fusion rifle into a linear fusion and you'll see there at the bottom left when you actually hold down your reload button it'll change it'll go from overcharge to temporal unlimiter signifying that it is now in linear fusion rifle mode now in this mode every single shot consumes two stacks two stacks of that overcharge inside of pvp personally i think it's three guaranteed kills like if you know how to pre-charge around corners and considering how sticky linear fusion rifles are inside of crucible landing these kills is no problem in Inside of PvE though, I was curious about the damage. You've got a primary weapon here that can now convert into a significant damage dealer, especially considering it is just a primary weapon. Now this may be an unfair comparison, but I did want to compare it to Sleeper and Arbalest. Arbalest being a special weapon and present in the kinetic slot, Sleeper being a heavy weapon. Vex Mythic class in its linear fusion rifle form does 32,570 damage. In comparison to Arbalest, Arbalest was actually doing 33,670 70 damage pre-buff or pre-season of the splicer. This season though, since Linear's got like a 15% buff, Arbalest is doing 38,496 damage. Now I know that's more than Vex Mythic class, but what's significant about that is the fact that Vex is almost matching the same damage of a special Linear Fusion. Now granted, it does have significantly less charge time, but still very impressive for a primary weapon. Now in comparison to Sleeper, obviously Sleeper outpaces it greatly, hitting 63,586 damage in the sandbox surprisingly sleeper only received 3.3 percent of a buff instead of the full 15 percent so hopefully that's going to be fixed regardless though this just gives you like a point of reference would i use vectimate the class inside of pve well it doesn't make warmind cells i tested it you know warmind cells is kind of funky especially with wrath solar splash kills and the way it works inside of destiny's code it could have potentially made them but it doesn't make them here now what i have not tested is how it deals with champions like i know the game says is a fusion rifle 
fusion rifle. It even shows in the kill feed that it's a fusion rifle. But my question is, could certain champion mods work with it, considering it does shoot like an auto rifle? Or are we just gonna have to wait for an artifact mod in the future to be applicable to fusions? So that's kind of what's dependent on whether or not I use Vex. Now inside of PVP, it's a 360. I'm gonna be straight with you guys, 360s are not the most popular. I love Dan, Gatherin's right hand, Age of Bond. They actually have a pretty good TTK value of 0.83 seconds. I think the biggest thing constraining Vex is that its damage fall off actually begins at about 22 meters to 23. Pretty rough, but it is very different than other 360 on rifles because everything within that 20 meter range really gets shredded by Vex. Like surprisingly consistent. And I know a lot of people talked highly of Vex Mythic class back in D1, but let's just take the perspective of year three D1. Vex was nowhere near meta. It was a fun weapon and that was about it. The only reason why Vex even made a big splash was because it was busted broken the first week it came about because it was just outright doing way too much damage. And actually inside of D1, if my numbers are correct, Vex was hitting like 39 per crit and like 26 per body. So it was doing more damage. But to me, it was way more inconsistent. Bungie has actually fixed that with Vex. Vex feels a lot more consistent within its optimal range. Now you're not gonna just go inside of Trials and like slay with this weapon, guys. I mean, quite frankly, it's still a fun weapon. Like I love the linear fusion rifle form of this weapon, but I think a big key component about Vex is gonna be its exotic catalyst whenever we finally get that. As it's gonna be a new part called Calculated Balance, where it states at higher stacks of overcharge charge increases its stability. So the catalyst is almost incentivizing you to hang on to those stacks of overcharge, to not swap to its linear fusion rifle form. And considering that you can hold six stacks of overcharge, I'm under the assumption that the stability bump here is going to be significant. I found that Vex right now, it's dueling capabilities within its range to be really good. It also seemed to throw enemies off. Visually, I found myself inside of like D1, Vex Mythic class would do the same thing, which is kind of throw me off a bit. I think the only only true negative about this weapon is yes, it does sound different than its D1 version. It doesn't sound as pronounced, which I didn't like at first, but now I'm kind of getting used to it. And it almost feels like I'm starting to like the new sound of it more now. But previous D1 Vex, yeah, you know when someone's shooting a Vex Mythic class. So overall, I'm happy to have Vex Mythic class back in the game. We will be reviewing multiple other raid weapons. I find this combination of auto rifle, fusion rifle, linear fusion rifle to be a lot of fun. It adds variety for both people. PVE and for PVP. If you're looking to get this weapon, guys, Atheon drops it. Let's actually got it from the first completion of Atheon we did, but I'm under the assumption it's probably going to be pretty rare because we did challenge mode right after that and none of us got it. Granted, I think the hard mode of Vault of Glass might have a higher chance of dropping Vex as well as the time loss versions of those raid weapons. Either way it goes, guys, we're going to be breaking down and reviewing all of these weapons today. Come by our Twitch. We'll be live here shortly. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, Slap that like button like your mama told you right.